looking at the prizes, it's not too bad. Zashi and V in the prize, but I believe there is three in the deck for James there. Should not really too bad. On the other side, I believe we did see that um, uh, his opponent did prize two Pokemon Catcher, so maybe that could oh. play a little bit of a role here. Yeah, that's definitely going to be just interesting to see because uh, it's most people play Custom Catcher, yeah. but Pokemon Catcher, yeah, if you hit heads, it's better. <laughs> it's, it's just good, yeah. Have one card that does the job of two. All right, and here we go. James starts his turn one, attaches the Recycle Energy to the active Mincino, and passes yeah. the turn. That's about all you can expect um, from, from an opening turn of, of, of the mill deck. Doesn't yeah. really have much else going for him. Would love to evolve on the following turn. So obviously still wanted to go first, but it's not like you're going to do much with it. Yeah, and to be fair, though, uh, uh, Arce Arceus Dog of Palkia uh, is one of those decks that doesn't really attack turn one unless you're Burt. Unless you're Burt, yes. Yeah. Confirmed. And now that I said that, it might happen again. <laughs> Just commentator's curse. He, he said, oh, oh, you think only Bert can do this. <laughs> you fool. Yep, so we do see that uh, Lewis does have that tag call for him. Going to get that energy onto the Arceus Dialga Palkia. Very helpful for him now. Also has that Beon, which could be pretty interesting in the matchup. Uh, maybe gust away and uh, pull up. Uh, a relevant Pokemon instead of just attacking into a doll or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Guzma and Hala coming down off that tag call, discarding two cards to search for a stadium tool and a special energy. And it is looking like next turn is all set up for Lewis here. Certainly not bad for him. Also going to uh, go ahead and put that onto his Jirachi. Got that escape board so he can swap yeah. out of the access spot eventually. And looks like he's going to take a look at his three with Zashian and hold on. Yeah, not bad. So the uh, one thing that James was missing from his turn one was his own Zashian. Yeah, that would have been pretty pretty helpful for him. Because right now we see him starting to, he's struggling a little bit to get going. This last uh, Chinsino helped him so much right here, though. Those two cards are pretty beneficial to helping him start to get through his deck. Yeah, well, we also see three Crushing Hammers oh, now boy. in James's hand. That's probably the best card in this matchup uh, early game. Yeah, you need the, to limit your opponent from uh, being able to use their Ultra Creation GX to that full effect. Uh, if you can do that, then, of course, you're going to slow them down, buy yourself a little extra time, and maybe that's all the time you need. Maybe if you buy those two, three extra turns um, just because you keep stealing their energies. Well, here's a big flip. Tails. Don't worry, we got another one. Oh, boy. Man, All right. Looks like he got it. Now, Lewis does have an out, though, to get uh, Alter Creation GX in one turn, right? Yes, he does play those two energy switch, along with, of course, being able to cheat those energies onto the board by way of Metal Saucer yeah. onto his Zacian. So we could see uh, this turn two still happen. It's a little more difficult for him, but uh, never impossible. You actually also see Metal Core Barrier in those five cards from Stellar Wish. Not something you would want to see in this matchup, uh, being a tool that reduces 70 damage from your opponent's next turn from their attack. <laughs> I don't think we're going to see some relevant damage coming from our boy Chinsino. Oh, and the metal energy signifying that there is no altered creation this turn and ending the turn with an intrepid sword. Yep. Back on the James here. Tackle. And tag call, one of the key cards for James's deck, playing so many tag team supporters. Yeah, this is going to give James an opportunity to also thin two cards out of his deck before he starts using his Chinchino to start drawing through a little more. Going to grab onto some important cards for him. Uh, the, the Caitlyn and Cynthia in his hand as well. He can just continue to just chain through and grab uh, great supporters and just keep pushing through, make his hand as big as possible. And maybe he can avoid that Marnie if, uh, every once in a while from his opponent and just hold on to a nice big hand. Now, historically... Uh, uh, Lewis's deck has done very well against stall style strategies, mill strategies. How does this matchup go with Chinchino being kind of a very aggressive mill? Yeah, so the, the fact that you're able to start discarding so early so often, kind of it, it's, it's a benefit that we're not used to seeing. Uh, we're, we're at this awkward stage right now in the, in the game where you don't know 
um, you're not getting that full effect by way of the lieutenant surge. But when you see that start to come into play and you see how many cards that James is able to take away from Lewis in single turns, you can see how this matchup can kind of flip on its head. So I'm curious to see how much of an impact this early game has on it and uh, to see if that will completely change the tide of the game. Yeah, and James has already gone through essentially half his deck here, and it's just so early on in the game. Oh, this is another crushing hammer. Oh, that's crushing. Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, unfortunately not able to hit that energy off of the Arceus Dog of Palkia, meaning most for sure we're going to see Altered Creation GX next turn, and once that happens, okay. there's a very big clock on James. Yep, so... We do see that James is going to go ahead and give himself some more Cynthia and Caitlyn, so eventually he can just continue to chain uh, more discarding effects by way of his boy Bryson Man. So we'll see if he's able to get that continued on for him. Also, just a great way to continue to draw through his deck and just really load up that big hand so eventually he does get that Lieutenant Surge and set up for maybe that 11-card discard that a lot of people have been fearing. Ending the turn with Intrepid Sword, drawing three cards, no metal energy in James's deck at all, so it's just always draw three. Lewis starts his turn with a Stellar Wish. Already having the cards necessary in hand for Altered Creation. The Marnie, a big pickup here this turn. Yeah, that Marnie is pretty important for him. This is going to be able to uh, take James's hand down. We know he's holding a ton of cards right now, so if, you're, if you can limit his hand to just four... Uh, make uh, make make do. Have to do a little bit extra to to continue on where 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 he, where he wants to be. And I appreciate you, Kyle. <laughs> I'm trying, man. <laughs> <laughs> and the the big thing too is Lewis has that Fion on the bench to just kind of threaten. Like, well, yeah, I'm, I alter creation. Next turn, I'm taking two prizes. Don't you worry. Yeah, he's he's definitely put himself where he wants to be now. We're going to see how deep James can thin. Honestly, the Marnie might not be as important if he can just start discarding some cards that he doesn't want to see, and maybe he can just make his deck a bunch of good cards to draw into. And yeah, he'd I, love to see more Chancino hit the board as well. Yeah, the fact that you have Make Do, uh, just drawing through your deck, um, it is pretty great to see just because, yeah, it, it's essentially Zorark GX. It's, it's, it's putting in work, and every time when you get to see six cards and end your turn with drawing three more, you're, you're going to hold on to this huge hand here. And yeah, Marnie can take it away for a turn, but you can just bring it right back. Yeah, and like you said, he's thinning out his deck of the cards he doesn't want to see, so every card he draws is just going to be a hit after hit. Second Aurora energy coming down for Lewis. Discards the extra Arceus de Algapalkia. Now we'll be able to ultimate ray and take a knockout here, thanks in combination to Fionn. Yeah, so he does have the option of Fionn. Looks like he's also eyeing up maybe using one of his Pokemon catchers, but yeah, he's going to just hold off on that. Uh, I think up. he was eyeing down Marnie, too. Yeah, that's true. He, he could just try to um, use that in combination. Maybe he tries to hold on to that for when he takes a knockout on... Uh, a Chintino or something like that. Maybe he could limit the hand size and the amount of cards that can flood back onto the uh, into James's hand. Yeah, and it's actually pretty smart of James to bring up the Zacian B, the one Pokemon not being able to get knocked out by this big tag team, kind of saves you an extra turn. Yeah, I mean it doesn't matter to you if you have that damage on you right now, and. If your opponent wants to really drag it up and uh, continue attacking into it, then that's their, that's their choice. Hey, you can also discard it with Belelba and Bryson Man later if you want to. Yeah, that's true. So you could always uh, use that other effect that he has available to him and just uh, remove those prizes from, from the board. Eyeing down a Belelba in his discard could opt for something like the multiple pal pads in his hand. <laughs> He's holding so many I think many all cards. four pal pad are in his hand, right? or three. Yeah, all three. Yeah, he's setting up for a pretty great spot. Just going to dump those two cards out of his deck there. Air Balloon coming down. One of the big item cards, uh, tool cards, coming from Sword and Shield. Uh, kind of the replacement for Floatstone. Yeah, it's, it's nice to see it back in and less broken. Uh, poor U-turn board. <laughs> it tried. All right, and there we see another Intrepid Sword to end of the turn. It is just insane to see how much 
cards that James is actually drawing throughout each of these turns. Yeah, I mean, Arnie is a good card, but we, he can just almost draw Ooh. this all right back. And there's Pokemon Catcher. The first one to come down hits the heads, but now Lewis has to make a decision. Does he go for the three prizes or start picking apart the draw engine here? Yeah, honestly, almost every card that's available to him is part of the draw engine. He could take away one of the Chinsino, or he could just uh, take the, the multiple prizes of the Zacian and just make sure that every time that James ends his turn, he doesn't have that available Intrepid Sword. Yeah, and we saw Lewis last turn attach those two Metal Energies to the active, really just scared of more Crushing Hammers coming down. Right, and, and we've seen him, he's seen a few of them already, but of course he knows that there is access to more by way of Orangaru, so just wants to play safe around that, and no shame in that. All right, James has his entire deck in his hand, essentially, everything he could possibly want, and now it's just, does he choose to go off? Lieutenant Surge is now active. Yeah, this is the turn that he's been waiting for, so he has a ton of discard effects available to him now if he wants to. He could start to push through. He could. We could also see him use uh, the secondary effects and take away the Sashian from the board if he wants right. to just preserve those prize cards. There we go. James has left himself with zero cards in deck. First, you got to deck yourself out. Then you can start decking your opponent out. Yeah, it's always a safe call there. And plenty of resources to refuel. Palpat, of course, being the best one. Shuffling two supporters from your discard into your deck. Well, guess what? That's probably going to be two Blubble and Bryce Man or <laughs> Lieutenant Surge <laughs> or Sydney cut? and Caitlyn. <laughs> oh, yeah, and guess what? He could probably still draw him again this turn if he wants. He still has access to another make do. Yeah, so pretty cool. Doesn't really need to do too much else here. Going to go ahead and bring up the Pokeball, Poke Doll and hope that a Pokemon Catcher is not in his future. Oh, well, there is a Pokemon Catcher. Does it hit the heads oh, again? Man. This is tough. He has to decide now. Do I just start to chip away at the uh, Shinsinos? Yeah, he's going to keep working on this. I do like this play from him. It means that eventually if you do get to stick that Marnie, he, your opponent is going to have a really hard time starting to draw back um, in at least one single turn. Yeah, uh, it, it's pretty great to see here. Pokemon Catcher proving its worth. Showing <laughs> what it is. Heads. Yeah, <laughs> showing that uh, Custom Catcher is... Kind of falling by the wayside. Like, yeah. It's Pokemon Catcher's time to shine again. Yeah. <laughs> Just get the right die and you're going to do fine. All right. Again, though, James is on the back foot here. Another Pokemon Catcher could just spell game over next turn. And Lewis has it in his hand. We see it there. So Lieutenant Surge, double Bulalba, milling six cards. It doesn't look like we're close enough to make that huge turn just yet. But yeah, well, those are pretty cool draw, uh, discards he's getting there. <laughs> the, the fact that uh, Lewis hasn't really had to play much uh, earlier on. Uh, he just, Guzman Hollid had it in his hand. And he just had to wait until Crushing Hammer didn't get heads. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we do see now that it looks like James has already done everything that he could do. It's really up to, to Lewis and how the, the die is feeling in his hand because we know what's coming on the other side. We are um, a one more Pokemon Catcher flip away from closing this game out. All right, well, here we go. Pokemon Catcher move to the top. This is a big heads for Lewis. He's one step closer. Oh. Tails. Ooh. He wishes that one fell off the table. Ooh. Yeah. All right, but he does play four Pokemon Catcher, so I think there's one left for him. Yeah, he did he, have some in the prize cards, but he may have drawn into those. And then uh, he also could benefit... Uh, of playing Marnie this turn. Yeah, I disrupt could, I could, a little bit. Yeah, I could absolutely see that being uh, a helpful card for him. It would also just put a ton of cards back into his deck, and that might be beneficial for him as well, just because he doesn't want to walk right into the, a huge discard uh, to lose the game. Yeah, and uh, the Fion is huge again as well. This turn, not so much because the two Lily's Pokedoll, but next turn, if James can't get a second one on the bench, that's just game over. Yeah, just going to have to always have that Pokedoll available and not sure if he's going to have that option uh, ready for him. So we do see James is counting. There's 16 cards in Lewis's deck right now, All if right. my count was right. Uh, so he would need a couple more turns, and I don't think James has a couple more turns here. 
Yeah, it looks like he would need to have uh, the doll, and he would have to have multiple Chintino ready to draw him through and get to his um, Bilobo and Bryson men. All right, well, there's a draw. Crushing Hammer is not going to do much. Opts to discard it for the make-do, but hits another Lily's Poke Doll. So James survives again for one more turn here. Yeah, awkward spot though. He does have uh, the Bilobo and Bryson men, but he doesn't want to play them just yet because he doesn't want to discard his old deck away. Yeah, only five cards in deck for James here. And one play that this deck usually does is just put Lily's Poke Doll on the bottom, but you need both of those right now. Yeah, we need those. <laughs> That's keeping us in. Also, he. Uh, had to go ahead and evolve uh, the Ditto, so he's not going to have the Macargo to finish out the game. Oh, man. Yeah, there's just way too many cards left in Lewis's deck. Eventually, these Lily's Poke Dolls are going to round out. I think they're already out, so this Fion is spelling trouble here. James draws his card for the turn. It's an ordinary rod, but that's just a little bit too ordinary right now. It does have that Mewtwo and Mew in his hand, so that will be the one way he can use Macargo GX to mill five, but I don't know if milling 11 right now is going to be enough. Yeah, this... Well, if he does decide to go and use the Mewtwo, he could... Oh, here's a big count. There's 13 cards. All right, so if you use the Mewtwo this turn... Uh, then the Fion means that you could always just promote your your uh, your Polka Doll. Um, you don't have to worry about being knocked out because you have so many hit points, and maybe you can buy enough turns to actually okay. use your Bulba and Bryson Man. All right. Well, there Has is the well. last Lily's Polka Doll here. So again, one more turn for James, but I think that's he needs two. There's 13 cards. You need Lewis to draw two and then you can mill 11. But yeah. I think he might be one card short, and that's not even counting the Fion on the bench that puts itself back in the deck. Right, that's true. So he's always got a way to sneak in that one extra if he needs to. Yeah, we saw that earlier on with oh, he, uh, Gustavo. Gustavo with yeah. Palpad and Pokemon communication. Yep, there's always a way to sneak in a little bit extra. It seems like this deck is just short of being able to mill Lewis out. And there we see the Lieutenant Surge. Dan's kind of shaking, too. He knows, like, oh, man. So close. And if his, his, if his opponent wasn't hitting those Pokemon catchers early on, uh, he certainly would have had enough time to really lock this game out. All right. So you see James actually just play the Cynthia and Caitlyn for the first effect to get back a supporter. And that's the Blelba and Bryson Man. So now I think there's three of those left in James's hand. So mill three here. Not the now core. there should be ten cards left in the deck. One move he could do is actually attack with the Mewtwo and Mew. It does take a hit. And you still have the Lily's Poke Doll uh, on the bench to bring up from Fion. Yeah. Yep, so he can always buy that one extra turn there. Go ahead and use the attack, and then if he has the two... Bulalba and Bryson Man, along with the Lieutenant Search, you could just close out right there. If it is a 10 card, if, if it is less, then um, maybe he wouldn't need to have as many cards. Ordinary Rod looks like it's going to bail him out for a little bit, buy him enough deck to stay in this game here. Yeah, only having that one fire energy uh, to have access to, and he's going to need to find it right now. Oh, in the hand as well. Okay, never mind. All right, so... This is going to be a big turn from James here. Milling eight cards, putting Lewis down to five, I believe. All right, so we see five cards coming off the top now. Pretty s don't know. Actually, I feel like James may have actually just made this happen. Um, oh, oh, there's the a Marnie. Marnie. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Yeah, that is... I believe it's net two, and then uh, the Fion could potentially net one more if he really is pushing uh, to, to close out on that. Yeah, and James doesn't have access to another GX attack, so the most he can mill is six. So if Lewis is able to get past that threshold, he could take the game. Yeah. And I'm not sure if James has any... Yeah, there's five cards left. James could technically find a way to retreat to his Oranguru. 
but he would just get knocked out after using resource management. So don't know if there's really any other options available to him here. It's, it's getting right to the wire. Wow, we don't even see a lieutenant surge from James here. So not even able to mill six the next turn. So right now, Lewis is even safe. And you need to have a card to put back into your deck after you use back-to-back Bulova -back and Bryson, man. So it's, 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 a, it's a weird dance that you have to perform here. And there we go, 180 damage. Searches through the deck, five, five cards. Five left. He's pretty safe. And this is where you kind of know the resources that your opponent has left. The ordinary rod, their entire deck back. You can see what's in their discard and know exactly what they have. And I think this is see. the writing on the wall for James here. Trying to find potentially a way where he retreats and can have multiple Pokeball in play. But I don't know if he could do it. It looks like he's going to be a little short. Yeah, and there we go. James scoops it up, sees the writing on the wall. Lewis wins game one and is now one game away from locking up day two contention here. That was pretty cool to watch. Honestly, it's, it's, we haven't been able to see the uh, Chinchino Mill on the stage just yet, and it, it's interesting to always watch players working towards those alternate strategies, but Lewis built his deck in a way where he has the potential to uh, bring up multiple Pokemon. He has that Fion that he can continue to reuse, and he's got Pokemon Catcher instead of the Custom Catchers, so maybe he could, uh, if he's getting lucky, find three or who knows, even four flips that could just seal a game. And when he started targeting down the Chantino, it made so much sense. He put himself in a great spot to close his opponent out, and his opponent just had a really awkward hand that just couldn't work. Yeah, uh, and it's, it's pretty good. Like, like you said, he built his deck with this in mind, also having three Marnie to just refuel his deck later on in the game. Yeah, if he's not playing cards, then he's just adding a bunch of cards back into his deck every time he uses Marnie. And we really saw him do that there. He put enough energies onto uh, his Arceus Dialgapalkia to feel safe from Crushing Hammer shenanigans. But uh, after that, he really didn't play any other card that wasn't warranted. So really, that game came down to that turn two Crushing Hammer, that whiffed, that allowed Lewis to actually get that Altered Creation GX uh, and just start rolling from there. Could have bought him that extra turn he needed. Yeah, and if he finds that extra turn, maybe that's what he needs to to get a, a little safer Ooh. of a board set up. Two Lily's Pokedoll in the prizes, as, long, as well as the Mewtwo and Mew GX. Those are not good prizes there. Oh, that's so tough. Yes, uh, and we did see a lot of energies over on Lois's side, but I don't know if Lewis is really going to worry about that. He just needs three to continue on. Yeah, uh, prizing two of the Aurora energy, kind of sketchy because some of these lists only play th like three energy that count for the water requirement. Yeah. But Lewis is actually going full four Aurora. He was ready for this. All right, and James going first has a little bit better of a hand just because that intrepid sword ability from Zashian B is just probably one of the best abilities we've seen in a while. Yeah, this is pretty great. He combined two amazing abilities and just made a deck around it to burn through and uh, use these um, really aggressive supporters against his opponent. And it's, it's cool to see that he's be able to build such a big hand even on the first turn over and over again. All right, meanwhile, Lewis is looking pretty here. Jirachi start, tag call, and is able to get the Arceus Dogapalkia, the namesake of the deck here. And with plenty of cards in hand, he even didn't even need to get the Guzmahala. Already had it in his hand. Well, we are in an interesting spot now. We do see that one of those Aurora energies comes down into play. We know that that is the third one because there are two in the prize cards. So if Crushing Hammer were to remove both of these, if we did see the last Aurora energy come out, we, would, we might not see uh, some big attacks coming out of, Lois, of Lewis. Yeah, we might just see Zashian V being the attacker of choice, and when it can only attack every other turn, it's not pretty good. It's a little slow. The Marnie will pay dividends here. Looking at James's hand, he only has a Great Ball as one of his only playable cards. And not having access to something like a D the Dene GX, uh, you don't have a very explosive turn after a, a disruption supporter like that. 
Yeah, you want to use Intrepid Sword and then use the cards from it. Instead, he's staring at a bunch of random cards. But oh, was able to attack call. That attack call, that helps him so much here now. Uh, could even just use the, the Cynthia Caitlyn, just draw three and uh, feel fine with that. Kind of what you have to do, right? Yeah. Uh, th there's not much else for him to do. It's just build a big hand and we'll figure it out later. Yeah, uh, really eyeing down a crushing hammer this turn. If he gets it, I think that's probably going to be a huge swing in this game and the match going forward. Uh, if you can get your opponent off of Altered Creation GX uh, as a single prize mill deck, it just buys you infinite amount of turns. Yeah, and that's really what James is going to be looking for. He wasn't able to find um, extra Mintino to start to really burn through his deck, uh, so he's only going to have access to this one Mintino. Uh, see if he can make do with what he's got right now. And I don't know if he's going to find it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Discarding that Bulba and Bryce Man draws two Ordinary Rod. And here's the Cynthia and Caitlin. Needs a Crushing Hammer here. Ooh, does not find that's, it. That's not what that card does. Yep. Oh, no. So Lewis will be able to get his game plan off without a Sitch. And will Alter Creation almost for sure next turn. And then it's all about how fast can James Mill. Yep, and that's he's got enough time to at least take one game. He could start to he could potentially aim for that six one and one if he gets um, the tie here. Both players. Yeah, a tie for both players. Actually, be, feel happy with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure uh, that Lewis actually wants to win the game, but uh, it'd be it, it, it would be an uh, all right. That's fine. Yeah. We, we're both we're both being cut. It's cool. Stellar Wish nets another Marnie here. The disruption will not stop from Lewis. Oh my, look how big his hand got in just one turn. Yeah, it, it's insane. The to think 10. <laughs> uh, basically, all of his cards are just like, I'm going to plus on this, I'm going to plus on this. Tac Call gets you an extra card. Cynthia and Caitlin replaces itself and more. And there we see the second Marnie uh, in two turns. Being able to shuffle both players' hands, puts it on the bottom, and then they draw four and five, respectively. And Alter Creation GX is the attack of choice. Now all of Lewis's Pokemon do 30 extra damage to the active and take an extra prize card when they take a knockout with their attack. Yeah, and that's the clock that uh, Lewis has been looking for. He wants to be able to put James on maybe that three-turn window if he's got the back-to-back -back catchers to work for him, or maybe we don't see the, um, the Polka Dolls at the right time. Fionn is able to steal an extra prize card, or an extra two prize cards for him by giving him a relevant attacker to, to hit into instead of this Sashian. Evolution and sets coming down for James here. One of the newer cards in Sword and Shield that hasn't really gotten much press about it, but it's very good for what it does. Yes. So Search your deck for an evolution Pokemon, and yeah. that's it. Evolve, uh, like decks that evolve aren't very popular, but to them, this is their quick ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this thing is nice. All right. And just like that, going from one Chinchino to three, he's making do a lot more with what he got now. Oh, he's got a lot to work with. That's for sure. It's like Bilobo and Bryson Man going to go ahead and discard another Bilobo and Bryson Man. We do see a great catcher hitting the discards. Triple pow pad in James's hand as well. Well, that's going to give you a lot of options, won't it? <laughs> there is a, an art to when to use the pow pad, because you want to get your, your deck down to low enough size to where you draw all the relevant cards at the right time. Yeah, and also it kind of gets rid of the versatility of Cynthia and Caitlin later on, too where you might want a specific supporter, but you end up putting it back with yeah, Palpat just, early. He just shuffled it back. Yeah, so it looks like he is eyeing the right cards here. Uh, wants to find that Lieutenant Surge later on so that he can combine multiple supporter effects. And, of course, Cynthia and Caitlin will be able to find him that Bryson Man and Bulova. Sorry, I'm going back in. Bulova and Bryson Man. <laughs> to really just for working his way through. Yeah, again, though, having two Lily's Pokedoll in the prizes is going to be very detrimental for James here, especially since Alter Creation is now online. It's probably your best way to combat and steal a couple extra turns, but not having access to half of them for the entire game. Grabbing this Orangaroo Ar is interesting to me. It's just, it, it seems like there's never a turn where you want to use resource management. 
Yeah, especially in the face of Alter Creation. Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's terrifying. <laughs> but uh, maybe maybe he is going to actually have to take a turn off and, and use the use that effect. Or, he, yeah, there you go. It's, it's sacrificial. Yeah. That works just fine as well. Dion bringing it up. Uh, Lewis wants the knockout here. He only needs to knock out three Pokemon with Alter Creation. So, yeah, you don't really care what you knock out as long as you get knockouts. The, knockouts the, are good. The third extra prize from Zacian doesn't really matter. Yeah, any time that you're not using your Pokemon Catcher and you're taking some prize cards, you're feeling amazing um, as Lewis. So, hey, putting himself in an, another good spot. Can I once again count what's a safe number? We did already remove the Orangaroo. It seems like five is going to be his go-to again. Yeah, and this is still scary, though, because of those two prized Aurora Energy. If Lewis is able to grab him out of the prizes, and he did grab one, so kind of a little buffer against Crushing Hammer later on in the game. Yeah, and I don't know if James is aware of, of, of that. Obviously, when you do get a Crushing Hammer, you're going to go after that Aurora Energy just because it represents so much more. But it's, it's not something that you're really thinking about. You're not thinking, oh, that Water Energy is very crucial. But it, it actually, that, that's the only thing that's keeping Lewis going right now. And again, a giant hand size for James here. It's just what the deck does, but... So far, these two mill strategies we've seen on camera today just have almost gotten there. And it, granted, he's gotten there six times. Yeah, so he's finding a way to get there. He, he may have gotten there 12 times uh, just because he, he does it pretty fast. Yeah. Oh, and there is a Faba. That's one interesting play yeah. for this matchup here. That's right. That is a cool way to go ahead and remove that. Don't have to leave it up to fate with your crushing hammer. Just go ahead and rip it off of that Pokemon. And that does spice things up. Now Lewis may have overcommitted to this Arceus Diagapalkia. Once that last Aura Energy uh, s sinks away, it could be a little trickier. Yeah, and again, it's just all about time. Uh, does James have enough time to get all of the Aurora energy out of Lewis's deck. Yeah. Here we go. Again, oh. these flips are so crucial here. They're so important every time. And there's the Aurora energy that Lewis got from the prizes. Definitely needed, especially with his hand not being as good as it could be for closing out the game, at least. Yeah. All right. Well, Crushing Hammer in James's hand. He has an out to actually steal this game away. He just needs to do it fast enough and hope Lewis does not have Aurora Energy at the right times. Yeah, I don't know if Lewis even had an option to start charging up uh, a Zacian at any point, but it looks like that strategy was not going to be something that he wanted to work towards. He's completely focused on the ADP here. Also has the Cynthia and Caitlyn for... A big return Faba play if he wants to, but double. multiple crushing hammers in his hand. Yeah, double crushing hammer. Gonna keep pushing triple Ooh. crushing hammer. We'll, we'll get there. One of these has to work. It's crazy to see just how big these hands can get through all of this disruption. Just go with the guarantee. You know, don't flip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's... That's a safe call. I like it. All right. Two down, two to go. And this is the one weak point about building your deck without these basic water energy. I guess if you were running the clay version, you would have had it. <laughs> there he is. He always makes a way back in. Pal pad being played, so James does not deck out next turn. Yep, got to just... Keep looking out for yourself here. He does have so many resources available to him, but the deck is also a resource that you need to have at least a little bit going on for you in there. All right, Lieutenant Search and Belelba and Bryson Man are the choice. Shuffle that up. Do you want to cut? No, thanks. <laughs> Take one. I'll draw the other in a minute. Oh, so this is interesting. We have a switch to the Jirachi to kind of dig for something like maybe Guzma Hollow, but I think there's only one copy in... Lewis's deck. Let's just start attacking with Jiraji. That could work. Let's slap some people. You do 50 damage, take an extra prize. It's good stuff. And there's the Professor Research, essentially helping out James a little bit more. But if Lewis is able to find a combination of Pokemon Catcher 
and the Aurora Energy. He could pull together some more knockouts, but it does not look like it. We might just see him start to charge up that Zacian B. Yep, Zacian is a much slower alternative. You do have to Oof. worry. Oh, seize the energy, but obviously no way to grab it just can I, can yet. Can I grab this? Yeah, I'll just... <laughs> do you mind? No, this is a bit off for Orem. Zacian, you'd have to continually have to have a switching effect for you or just take a turn off here and there, which is pretty ugly. I think another out would have been maybe like a second Metal Saucer uh, paired with the energy switch in Lewis's hand. Yeah. He might still have access to it. I can't see all of the cards, but... Uh, Zashian V isn't like the best attacker in this matchup either. Right. Oh, Ooh. yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Jirachi is finally uh, getting his, uh, his time in the sun. Oh, here we go. There's another switch as well. Let's slap. He, he needed to wake it up. It's yep. like, Jirachi, wake up. You, you got to slap. Big slaps. Love them. All right, so there is sort of a clock now, and this is why James saved the Crushing Hammers. Right. So this now opens up uh, a way to discard these energies off of whatever the secondary attacker was going to be. Maybe James thought it was going to be a Zashi, and oh, no, you're wrong. It's a Jirachi. So <laughs> start to remove those energies off the Jirachi if possible, and maybe you just put Lewis in a spot where he has to burn through his deck even more to get that final attacker, and you're just going to win from there. Yeah, well, you also have the decision of you could strip the, the Arceus Dog Palkia, because if Lewis does draw Aurora energy, well, he can't attack with it anyway because there's just no energy. Granted, you would need, like, all three heads on the Crushing Hammers. Yeah, it's, it's tough to choose who you want to target at this point. You know that it's only one more Aurora energy, so maybe you just let him get that one last attack off, and then you use your Faba. Or oh, this could be big, too. If he mills the last Aurora that's energy. That's true. Pokemon catcher. catcher. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, Lewis kind of escaped that turn a little bit. Dangerous game, yeah. Who knew the most dangerous game was actually about Bulalba and Bryson Man milling Aurora energy? I thought it was love. <laughs> Ordinary Rod putting four cards back in James's deck. Oranguru is actually kind of an option now. Yeah, he's actually he could he has multiple turns to use it now because he's. Uh, got Jirachi just slapping away in the exo spot. So could find some time to actually bring this up. And uh, maybe he focuses on crushing hammers at that just point. Just a Ranguru three crushing hammers back in the deck. Yeah, just lock your opponent out, and that's, that's it. And he drew it, but he did not draw the energy. So he's going to have to <laughs> make two a, a hammer. I respect it. So I think that means that he's not too he's focused not gonna on the hammers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's going to use the hammers to try to finish off the last of war. Like, Listen, guys, that's cute and all, but i got to win this game. Yeah, only tw a little over 12 minutes left to go for this game, too, here. So a win is really just going to be a tie for James. Right. Uh, I mean, this, this would lock in his day two contention. So fighting for a ton here, even though it wouldn't be a match win just yet. And finally, after... Two matches of this very aggressive mill deck. We finally see the first resource management. Yep. <laughs> it's, uh, it's finally, it looks like he could be eyeing up just pal pads and maybe another way to like keep cards in his deck, like uh, the Ordinary Rod or something like that. So I think there's 16 or 17 cards in Lewis's deck right now from the quick count that James did. A little bit farther from what he needs. About three turns out if he's able to continue the chain. And I, I think he's actually going to have enough time to, to keep on pushing. So we'll see what he focuses on. The the doll is another great way to, to keep that extra turn alive potentially for yourself. Oh, well, it's the big one, especially with the two being prized. Aurora energy off the top, though, for wow. Lewis here. He will be able to take a knockout, two prizes, and then Fiona or Pokemon Catcher could just clean it up. But he's going to need to get the Aurora energy from the prizes. <laughs> this could be a slap a Sashian for the win kind of game. Oh, <laughs> that'd be cool. That'd be cool. And it's also kind of awkward because there's two energy in the deck. Kind of guarantee you'll have energy to attack with on the Jirachi, but you also don't want to get rid of more cards in the deck as well. Right. Yep. All right, does he get the Roar energy from the prizes? 
It does not look like it. And there it oh, is. No. Oh, yes. man. Chirachi, we need you. Slap City. Yeah, and there's actually, it's 10 over what he needs to take the <laughs> knockout on the Zacian. I, I, what, I, I wonder if we're going to see, uh, if James sees the second effect of Blalba and Bryson Man to discard the Zacian right, from I, the bench. I was wondering about that because he also had the opportunity in the first game and didn't see it as, as important, or maybe he just really wanted to have that free retreater effect. It, it was hard to tell at that point. But he also knew his opponent really wanted to focus on uh, the, the Chintino, Chintino at that point. So maybe he was just thinking, yeah, you don't want this anyways. But now he knows that that's a huge threat. Oh, but here he's playing as Baloba and Bryson Man. Playing the second one here. Found Pokemon another catcher. catcher. Stop counting in twos. You're making it hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, okay, it, it looked like it was ten. Two, three catcher. I think there's one Pokemon catcher left. Dangerous game. All right, Palpad coming down for James here. He's going to try to reset this aggressive mill here. Is that eight or ten cards? Yeah, he's counting two. It's, it's either eight or ten. <laughs> I couldn't tell. All right, deck is now three below and Bryson Man and one Lieutenant Surge. Next turn is set to go off. Retreat to Lily's Pokedol. A little assurance against the Fionn. But it all comes down to if Lewis can find Pokemon Catcher and hit the heads he needs. Otherwise, maybe next turn he can win with the Fion. Woo! I don't know if anyone thought going into this that Jirachi slapping the best card in Sword and Shield was going to be <laughs> the, the deciding factor, but... Man, what, what a time to be alive. It's, it actually played a pivotal role in one of the, I, I believe it was uh, one of the international top fours uh, in Latin America that the Jirachi was actually like a relevant attacker. So we, we've seen it sneak up every once in a while. Oh, oh boy, here, here we go. It's all or nothing, baby. Professor's Research discards the hand down. Can you find Pokemon Catcher? There it. it is. Here we go. All right. This is the biggest heads of Lewis's tournament right here. Does he hit it? The last Pokemon catcher. Oh, that is a one. one. Oh, no. That was everything. And you put your deck down so far to where oh, he this knows. double Belelba yeah. is game over here. Two cards Two left cards. in deck. And that is game over. You, he went all or nothing and ended up with nothing. I respect it because he knows that the, that would have been a, a pivotal way. Just lock this game up right now. You have great odds to go ahead and draw that card. And, yeah, he's got to scoop it up. Yeah, and he was under that threshold of 11 cards. So he knew that next turn it was going to be over. But that Mewtwo and Mew was in the prizes. Didn't know that. But, yeah, yeah. He, uh, he, he, had, he had to expect it. He saw his opponent early on play that ditto and discard the Macargo, which hinted, oh, um, this, this is coming by way of Mewtwo every time. Yeah. And he, he didn't know that his opponent actually was bluffing. All right, so seven minutes left to go in this game, or in this match. Uh, James essentially can't win. Uh, That's it, fair. It, it, it takes him a lot to get going, uh, and his turns take a while just because he has so many abilities that he needs to go through, so many cards he has to play. Yeah. Lewis, he could pull it off. ADP could do this, yeah. Pull Bert. Pull Bert. Easy. Now, like you said before, a tie for both of these players is still good. Both players will make it in day two. They'll kind of look at each other like, eh, we wasted the last 50 minutes <laughs> of our just, life. but They just <laughs> high five and walk off the stage, both feeling totally fine. <laughs> you know, that is, that is the kind of games that we like to see here uh, on the big stage where everyone walks away a winner. It'll all depend on early crushing hammers for James uh, and if Lewis is able to just get a consistent setup, maybe even go for, like, quick intrepid swords. Yeah, honestly, I, I think the biggest point is going to be is James just able to start setting up his deck because he doesn't have to be going for a winning route, but if he's oh. just playing his cards, he's going to probably burn all the clock. So two, cru uh, two crushing hammers on James's prizes there. 
very important, but two Pokemon catcher on Moose's side, but has access to all four Roar energy this game. All right, Goat Speed Racer. We do see the energy already onto the Arceus Palkia. We see the energy coming into play, um, yeah. or the, the energy pop into the hand from the Zacian. Yeah, actually opts to just keep it in your hand. It's one of those things where you don't need to attach the energy, and that's very powerful uh, because you could also just give your opponent less information. Right. They don't need to know that you now have that extra energy that you're holding on to. If you are just thinking about using a switching effect, using that Aurora energy, and then uh, using your GX attack, you, they don't need to know that you have that extra energy now in your hand to finally get that um, three energy attack going off. All right. Tag call coming down for James. Uh, going second has access to supporters now. So Cynthia and Caitlin will draw three cards this turn. And hopefully he'll be able to find some Minchinos, get him in play, get the Ditto in play maybe. I believe he does have that Sashian as well, so he will be able to draw multiple cards too. Oh, Ooh. wow, beautiful. This Quick is ball and Ditto off that Cynthia and Caitlyn. Exactly what you want to see. Yeah, if he wants to continue to make this a nice long game that never ends, he's playing the, the right cards. A little over four minutes left to go in this match. Both players day two berth on the line here. And what a turn one from James here. Granted, doesn't have much else in his hand, but just having that set up is what you want to see. Did miss the medal, though. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Ah, oh, I forgot to put medal in my deck. Couldn't have any. Couldn't have it all. All right. And there is a big Marnie here for Lewis. Uh, one of the ways to kind of steal a fast game is to hope your opponent doesn't draw anything. But like a switching effect... Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Look, <laughs> did you see? James James just drew, like, a full Mancino line in Cincino, so... Oh, yeah, must be nice. He's going to be flowing. Meanwhile, on Lewis's side, has the quick ball metal saucer to attach to the Jirachi. Favorite attacker. And there we see an Intrepid Sword again. Hitting no metal energy for the second time in a row. And two Chinchinos coming down. Lightning speed from James. Wham, bam. <laughs> and we are also, we see that tag call. So can thin out a little bit more from his deck. Draw a little bit extra. and Probably dump that Zacian that he doesn't need anymore. And Cynthia and Caitlin is just such a unique piece to this strategy, this combo, uh, providing a way to get your resources back, but just drawing through your deck as well. Yeah, it feels slow in a lot of other decks, but here it just feels good. <laughs> you, you're not, you don't care. You're just drawing everything you want, and you make this huge hand with so many of these uh, yeah, Bolo and Bryson, man. It's his best draw supporter in the deck. Yeah, it's, it, it does exactly what he needs to do. He's really not pushing too hard. He gets to conserve resources while ripping through his, his deck and thinning it out really well. And there we see an intrepid sword yet again. Three great ball off the top. Easy. That's pretty great. He's balling. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh... There we see Marnie coming down yet again. <laughs> right, right, right. He's not balling anywhere. And this has been good so far, but the fact that Lewis just has had this Zashian V stuck in the active spot for these few turns. Ooh, last card was a switch. Oh, that's not bad. That flows perfectly. Oh, yeah, a little bit of a sequencing error there. Yeah, you want to bring up the Jirachi with a skateboard. Just nets you an extra card. Granted, this is a matchup where you don't really need much extra cards, but if you want to find stuff like that Pokemon catcher, it could be pretty good. Yeah, I'm almost thinking maybe it wasn't. Uh, it, it, like, maybe it was better to just go ahead because you have a minute and a half to close out. That is true. I don't know if you have enough time to, to play optimally. I think you just need to start going. Just every turn, 150. Yeah. 150, shuffle your deck as fast as you can, and go, Ooh. go, go. Here we see the altered creation opting to essentially just ramp up the damage output and the prizes for Lewis, but only a minute left to go here, and you would have to think James's turn is going to take at least that. Yeah, Lewis is going to need to end his attack, his knockout turn before the clock hits zero, and that doesn't seem like it's going to be terribly likely just because James 
has been able to play some pretty lengthy turns. Yeah, also has Crushing Hammer in his hand as well. Uh, Lieutenant Surge, or no, the Bulbul and Bryson Man coming down, discarding three cards. We also do see multiple, uh, at least one Crushing Hammer in hand, so going to use those. Does find the one discard there on the Aurora Energy. Don't think he actually, yeah, he doesn't have the extra one, just multiple Pal Pad in the hand. Yeah, they look kind of similar. <laughs> the new Pal Pad art. Yeah. I don't, I don't hate it. But again, this turn is going down to time. Six seconds left to go, and James hasn't even Intrepid Sword yet. Oh, well, here we go. This, this is actually big. It depends when time is called. I think time was called just now, but okay, it, yeah. It, it needed to be Lewis taking a knockout, though, because it's... He's now got two turns to work with, and he needed three attacks. That is true. So this game will end in a tie, depending on the players. But there yeah, we go. They... <laughs> Handshake. Hey, I guess we're both in day two. They're Congrats. smart boys. They know. Yep. Yeah, that's, uh, it's going to go ahead and end in a tie for both these players. Valiant effort. Loved seeing uh, Lewis go for that big push at the end. Was almost able to close out. Just one coin flip away from two extra match points, but not able to get there. Yeah, that that was uh, pretty rough on Lewis's end. Uh, just.